right, this is going to be your very first podcast with Algebra 1. Now, remember, all of your podcast notes go on the right-hand side of your notebook. Your class notes are going to go on the left. Please make sure that you single-space everything so that you can fit it all onto one page. All right, starting off, the first section is 1.1, Evaluating Expressions. So at the top of your page of the title, make sure that you do have 1.1 on there. In your words with knowing, you are going to have algebraic expression. You will not be putting that in your notes on the right-hand side. However, you will be putting it in the back when I give you the definition in class. But an algebraic expression is an expression that uses variables, variable being a letter or symbol, um, and any number. So, for example, 3 times n would be an algebraic expression. All right, so we're going to do some examples of each of the operations. Remember operations are multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So I'm going to go ahead and write these over here on the right hand side in the operation chart. So I have multiplication, division, subtraction, and addition. Okay, my first example is going to be 5n of multiplication. Now it can be written like this. It could also be written 5 times n. Now being that we are in algebra now, you cannot use the x sign for your multiplication sign. You need to use the dot. So 5 dot n would be 5 times n. Or you can simply just say 5n. So there's three different ways that you can say this. Meaning 5 times n. Now the second operation is division. So for example, 14 over y can also be written 14 with the division sign y, which means 14 divided by y. Okay, so a fraction is also a division problem. Make sure that you do remember that. Eight minus x would be an example of a subtraction algebraic expression. Eight minus x. Addition, six plus c. Good. All right, now to evaluating expressions. Evaluating expressions. So looking at example one, evaluate the algebraic expression when n equals 3. So evaluating means that you're going to be solving it down to the simplest form. So 13 times n equals 13 in parentheses n. Again, like I showed you guys in class, showing work means that when you substitute values in, you need to make sure that you're substituting them in the parentheses. So 13 times 3 is 39. Okay, 9 over n is a division problem. 9 divided by n. So 9 over, put in parentheses, 3. 9 divided by 3 is Again, make sure you're using parentheses. Okay, I want you to do C on your own. Letter D. Remember, it is important that you are showing all of your work. So you notice, um, I may know the answer in my head, but I'm going to show every single step. By doing every step, it's going to eliminate the simple errors. So 3 plus 8 is 11. A little behind here. All right. Okay, you don't have to write the entire word problem down in your notebook. However, please make sure that you're writing down at least the expression and solving for it. The total cost of seeing a movie at a theater can be represented by the expression A plus R, where A is the cost in dollars of admission and R is the cost in dollars of refreshments. 
Suppose you pay $750 for admission and $725 for refreshments. Find the total cost. So again, it said the key is the, the very first sentence, which tells us the total cost of seeing a movie is represented by that expression. Okay, so here's the expression, A plus R. A is the cost of admission, which they said is 750. R is the cost of refreshments, which is 725. So 750 plus 725 is fourteen dollars and seventy five cents. All right, now on to powers. Okay, on the left hand column we do have the powers. We're going to write them in words and then find the total product and what the answer is. Okay, so uh, letter A is seven to the first power and it would just be seven because again powers mean seven and then however many times your exponent is so it's just one seven so seven is it now for letter b we can say five squared we could also say five to the second power so again it is However many the exponent is, that's how many times there are fives. So there's two fives, five times five, which equals 25. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and do C on your own. Letter D, just because it's a variable doesn't mean it's any different. Z to the fifth power. So it would be z times z times z times z five times. All right, example three says evaluate the expression. We're going to do basically what we did uh, with evaluating algebraic expressions. This time we now have powers that are involved. So letter A, we have x to the fourth power when x equals two. So just like I said, we're gonna show work. Two to the fourth power, which means two times two times two times two. And we simplify that down and that's 16. Okay, go ahead and try letter B. So again, this concludes the podcast for 1.1 Evaluating Expressions. Some of the key terms that we talked about in this, this section was algebraic expression and then also powers. So in class, we will be putting those into our words worth knowing to be able to explain them a little bit better.